looks like it's that time of year again for bagworms. We've got them here and up there on that branch and on that branch. And if you take a look, closer look inside there, it's kind of like a spider web, a cocoon. You'll see all these little, all right, I hope you can see these little black dots. And then you look in right there. And there's the little guys just waiting to see how they've devoured the leaves off of this branch already. There's nothing left, and this branch right here is turning brown. There's still a little more green for it, them to consume. But any time now, they'll be breaking out of here. They usually wait till they're about full size from what I've seen. Either that or they're going to work their way up the branch and keep eating, going in and out to eat and come back here to the nest. I haven't really watched them that much. But the best thing to do is to pull this branch off and feed these guys to the chickens. Because in no time they'll devour a good amount of the tree and leave all the branches looking like this. We're going to use the pole saw to take the top one down. This will give you an idea of how big it is. Hopefully it won't fall on his head. Is it not sharp enough? See everything, including me. Yep. Okay. See how they're all intact right here. Yeah. As long as we don't break the bags, they'll stay in there. Save these for your mom and let's see. Do you see any live running around in there? Yes, I do. Do you need a, what is you need a that, hold that? Huh? huh? What is that? Is that a spider web? Um not quite for sure. What is it called, Mom? They're bagworms. They're the fuzzy black and red or black and orange guys in the fall. Wow. They're like woolly mammoth looking. The fuzzy ones that they use for telling, what? telling the weather? Yeah. So these are caterpillars? Yeah. They're called bagworms. Bagworms. It kind of looks like a spider web nutting. Watch out. And so why are you... I'm giving them to you for chicken food. Okay, so then I just take them and throw them in like you can, that? You can throw them in like this or you can just set the bag in there and hope the worms come out and then the chickens will um, get them as they come out. Okay. Uh, it, what do you call it? 
once they figure out what they are, you know, the, they would tear this apart and help themselves to the worms. Okay. Do you see worms on this one? Or I got them all. Yeah, you got them all. That's just the netting. So these are big, huge cocoons. Yeah. So that's a giant cocoon? Yeah, it's a giant caterpillar cocoon. Um, look how much vermiore I got out of that. I know. It's like a whole branch of it. What that's is so itchy. Have you put, been putting cream on it? I don't have any. Oh. Uh, are they on this? No. There goes the chicken feed. <laughs> Natural chicken feed. Yeah, chicken definitely go crazy for that. We just need the sealed container to keep them in there till the chickens, till you get them out to the chickens. Awesome. And then the rest of this can be thrown away. Even though I call these a bagworm, they actually turn into a hairy moth and a fuzzy, hairy caterpillar. And that's what they look like out of the bag. I'll leave a link to Wikipedia where you can find more information on them. A bagworm itself looks like this. And that, and that, and that, and that. To that for Wikipedia. And even though this is an eastern um, tent caterpillar, it's hard to break old habits. They grow in a bag, and I'm used to calling them bagworms. There's another one that comes out in fall. It's not as hairy as this, but it's the same ideal. I'll close for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.